What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a tier list for going into Power of the Elements. Because let's be honest, until we get a new ban list, really the format's just going to be stale until we get Power of the Elements in a few weeks here. So smash the ever living crap out of that subscribe and that like button so we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so close to 800. I know that some people didn't really like the video from the other day. It's getting a good amount of views on talking about master shits, but I understand that people want to focus on the meta. They want to focus on other things besides dropping a dookie on a game that is just a bucket of, uh, well, dog shit. So let's go ahead and dive on into this here. I ended up combining two tier lists into one and you're gonna see that uh in a little bit where i'm basically gonna go over the rogue and booty booty butt cheek category as we always have um but it was just because of the fact that i couldn't find a single uh tier list on tier maker that included everything and like i still can't figure out how the fuck to make one so if someone could tell me how the fuck i can make one I would very much appreciate it. So let's go ahead and dive on into the tier one right out of the gate. Now, this is pre ban list. So this is going to include power of the elements, but like with no ban list. A ban list could obviously shake things up, and we will revisit this when we do eventually get a ban list. So let's start off with the obvious. It's going to be uh, splite and what's now called tier elements. I'm just going to call it tier elements because it's basically the same thing. They just subtracted an A for whatever reason. Splite and tier elements are going to be leading the charge in this new post power of the elements format because these decks are busted as fuck. I've been testing splites against tier elements to learn the matchup. And yes, tier elements is a very complicated convoluted, convoluted deck and only gets more complicated once we get the Ashiju Ishtar mill support. I still can't say that well. Um, but TLDR, it's a very confusing combo deck, but it can put out boards like it's nobody's business. From what I have gathered with testing, if you go first and you are the splite player and you're able to establish a good board with a decent amount of negates, you're going to win. If tier elements goes first and you don't hit them correctly on their choke points or they just open up well enough to break through that or to push through that, then you're going to lose the game. So it's it's a fucking dice roll like Yu-Gi-Oh! has been for quite a while now. Um, what's interesting about about new tier one decks is that majority of the time the decks that were tier one tend to drop down a notch or two and i feel that this is what will happen with the current meta right now branded and sword soul are the tier one go-to decks along with punk and punk theory on punk adventure punk everything those are all going to drop down to tier 1.5 because that's just really what's going to happen, especially, too, if a balance comes in and fucks these decks up, then they could drop even more. Um, does this mean that Sword Soul, Punk Adventure, Punk Theory on whatever the fuck, based, badass, sexy engine deck, and branded can't keep up with Splite and Tier Elements? No, because especially with that new fusion monster coming out in Power of the Elements that is two monsters with the same type and attribute but different names... That's going to be really good and branded if players can figure out a way to fit that into their deck. Because, you know, if you've got two splite monsters on the field that are both darks and thunders, sorry if you heard that uh, loud car out there. Someone thinks they have a big dick in my neighborhood. Um, but if you have two splite monsters out that are both dark and thunder, which you can with splite blue and gigantic splite, um, then the branded player can just super poly them away. The branded player can super poly away dark monsters on the tier elements player's board. So do not discount these decks. Just because new decks are coming into the fray doesn't mean that you should discount the previous meta because there will be people still playing those decks because they feel that that's what they are most comfortable with. They may not want to move on to these new decks. Along with that, Flunderies, I feel, is going to drop a tier. It's still a good deck. It's the Dark Horse, roguish, but still tier one pick in the bunch. You know, you get established with Empin and, you know, everything else that you need on your board. Dreaming Town, Unknown Wind, Magnificent Map, the whole nine yards, the whole kit and caboodle in the fucking sink. Um, this deck will win. It will beat Splite. It will beat tier elements if it goes first and gets established. This deck loses hard as fuck to Lancia. It loses hard as fuck to Hand Traps. But, of course, with my dog-ass luck, everybody I played against when I played Flunder had hand traps. Anytime I play against Flunder, I never have fucking hand traps. So, there's my luck for you. Um, along with that, I don't know what the fuck this deck is. Um, I think it's the new Sky Striker support. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's not Tri-Brigade, because this is Tri-Brigade. But, anyway, I don't know. Um, <sighs> Adventure Dragon Link. 
I got to put this in tier two. It auto loses to Alba Linatus and it had a good showing at the national championship. I get that. But the problem is, is that what tier elements and spite are capable of, I feel really pushes Dragon Link down even lower than tier 1.5. And I would argue it's tier two. If it pops off and it's in the hands of a good player, will it do well? Absolutely. I'm not denying that. Can it beat Spite and Tier Elements? Sure. Not as consistently as other decks can, but sure. Um, but it, it, I just, I can't put it in the Tier 1, man. I just can't. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. that. Uh, no, well, we'll put it in Tier 2. Adventure Phantom Knight, I think like 2 made like top 64, top 32. It's a good deck when it works. <laughs> That's what I'll say about it. Um it's it's tier two man i just i can't justify it any higher than that sky striker on the other hand tier one point fucking five this is getting more future support um and on top of that i think the only way that this deck is really going to get hit on the next ban list is that mystic mine is going to get banned that's my bold prediction i think that this deck is is going to have a very good showing going in the next format uh if splite and tier elements pop off they will beat this deck into the fucking ground and that's really the biggest thing to take away with this new upcoming format is that when Splite and Tier Elements pop off, they should win. If you do not open up Dark Ruler No More, if you do not open up Lava Golem or Sphere Modes, they are going to push your doo-doo in, and it's going to really hurt. <laughs> like, that that's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Tri Brigade, I think it's going to be Tier 2. Um, I don't foresee them really getting any more support and i don't see them getting any better um once tier elements and spike come out because like, you can't really combine these engines with tri brigade they just sort of do their own thing with what i realize now people are calling bbws beast beast warrior wing beast i i didn't realize that until the other day but that's really funny um Dryantron. i'm putting this in tier two I am aware that their Ritual Monster can make you skip the fucking main phase, which I think is the most idiotic thing I've ever seen in my life. That got hit on me when I was at that Book of Return regional where I said that my car got broken into. Um, yeah, and Homeboy made like a fucking 3,000 Ritual Monster, 3,000 attack, and he goes, yeah, you may want to read this. It skips your fucking main phase. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you cheating? He's like, no. And I'm like, the fuck? Like, this is a card? I think that shit needs to be banned, first of all. <laughs> um... Second of all, when the deck pops off and you can make me skip my main phase and shit, like, yeah, that's that's really good. Um, I just feel that these other decks can just do stuff way better. Um, especially when, like, we saw in the top four when Sky Striker beat Drytron. Like, I think that really speaks a lot on what the deck is capable of and where its power ceiling's at. Um, Libromancer, <laughs> they're in the booty booty butt cheek category. Uh, I'm counting this as Attic Nister. Attic Nister's rogue um it's yeah if you get out your six thousand beat stick like cool good for you honey boo boo but <laughs> you ain't you ain't competing with these <laughs> you what are you doing stupid what are you doing bro um elder lich elder lich branded all versions of elder lich i'm gonna say a rogue um you saw me come in 27th place with a 60 card build running mystic mine three demise and land the whole kit and caboodle when it throws people off and when it has good matchups against the meta it works but when it doesn't work, it, it just, it loses. Um, and Invoked, I'm going to say, is is definitely Rogue. Sure, it can still perform. It can put out Window, which is really good, um, with the Shadal package, but I think it is going to be Rogue. Now, along with this, I'm not going to go through all of these here. Don't worry about that. I'm going to kind of more discuss the Rogue picks out of all this here in like the booty, booty, butt sheet category, which where, you know, where it says non-meta. Uh, virtual world is rogue. It loses to itself. Subterror, booty, booty, butt cheek. Ad emancipator, booty, booty, butt cheek. Cyber dragons, what the fuck are you doing? Mech knight, no. Prank kids, ass. Medolce, with the vernalizer support, it is cool. I will put it in rogue. The issue is that everything around it is better than it. Correct ban list hits can put it up higher, but as of now, I'm going to put it in rogue. Heroes, rogue um unless you're kevin perez at my fucking locals who runs lightning storm in his fucking main deck then you know you just draw it against me every fucking time and i get my shit pushed in salad i still want to see this deck die in a fire i hate it um it just i i always have a terrible matchup with it i don't know why grand maju this this leads the charge in rogue for me big time because 
this deck can come out of fucking left field and just destroy everything in its path. Um, I still feel that this deck is going to be an amazing rogue pick, barring any, like, huge ban list hits. That, like, this deck is going to come out of nowhere, and, like, it's going to slam a Dark Ruler No More on the table. It's going to slam down a Sphere Mode or a Lava Golem on the Spite player's board. You're going to go Desires to draw two, and then go Gizmec Banish eight, and summon out a Grimaju, and I'm going to just shit my pants and cry. Like, real talk. Like, th this deck is mad scary. I, I got to give respect to, to Grimaju. Uh, dinosaurs, booty, booty, butt cheek. Uh, zombies, like any any version of zombies. We saw a zombie deck top 64 at Nationals, which was really cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, I really think it just sort of stays in Rogue, though. Alter Geist, Liquid Ass. I'm sorry, Jacoby. You're, you're awesome, bro. I love playing against you at Locals, but... I mean, come on, man. It's Altergeist is just, it's past its prime. It's really been power corrupt. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see here. Uh, Machinas, even with the Therion stuff, we really haven't seen them do anything. And I don't think that's really going to change going into this new format. Um, tr Tremids, like Tremid Sphinx and shit, is liquid ass. B Troopers have fallen off their liquid ass. Infernobles are a pile of liquid ass with chunks inside. Um,. I don't know what the fuck this is. What What is this? This is a, like, I don't even know. Oh, this is fucking Plunder Patrol. What am I doing? Uh, that's tier two. It's a solid tier two. I don't, I don't think it's going to be able to do much next format, but, I mean, I could be wrong. Um, I'm, I'm willing to put it up in tier two. Uh, let's see. We already talked about Attic Nister. I don't know what this is. I'm assuming that this is Exo Sister. Exo Sister goes in the Rogue. It has a very good tier element matchup, and its spike matchup is sort of 50-50 post Power of the Elements. But I gotta give it to Exo Sister. It's a very good rogue matchup, and I think it will get better once we have the Ashiju Istar Mill support. Um, so take that for what you will. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. We already talked about Madolce. DDD, rogue as fuck. Uh, if I, I've said it every single time I talked about this deck. If you pay $25 for a spreadsheet on combos, you wasted your fucking money. <laughs> no offense, but it's the truth. Numerons are liquid ass. Um, what the fuck is this? This is a, uh, this is the fucking quintet magician thing with the, uh, I don't even know what the fuck the deck's called. It's irrelevant. Pure Shadals, ass. Um, Thunder Dragons, what are you doing? Unchained, ass. Um, magician souls that I don't know what this is supposed to represent. To be honest, pendulums, uh, they're rogue big time. Uh, I think this is Black Wings. Black Wings are still going to be liquid ass after Darkwing Blast. I'm, like, I'm just putting that out there. I think that is everything. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, this is Evil Twin. With Splite, they're good. On their own, they're they're trash. <laughs> Guys, please, thank you so much for watching this tier list. Let me know if I missed anything. Like I said, I, I kind of went through here super quick to make sure I touched on everything, like the Rogue and everything else. I just had to com combine it into two different ones because, you know... No one knows how to make a tier maker on here, I guess. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. All jokes aside and busting people's balls aside, I really appreciate all of the support. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.